Good day, good day, good day, everybody. Brian here from quantlabs.net. So today I'm going to show you a new, well, it's not really new, but it's uh, been brought back. It's a better way to put it. Uh, it's from an old strategy. I'm finding ways to uh, maintain a watch list uh, to help better entries. Uh, includes factors in whipsaws and volatility, um, which I'm starting to work on now due to the fact that uh, starting to get a lot more down uh, or negative losing uh, positions in the last few days. So I've got to put that protection in. Never had it before, but starting to work on it. So also, um, if you're used to my crypto reports, either in the Forex, CFD, or, or uh, crypto, everything's been pretty well the same. Uh, nothing's moved a lot. Uh, there has been enormous amount of downward pressure. Uh, before I start, you can always get the usual free books at quantlabs.net. Something new as well, I've uh, got uh, three new listings. USB keys are now available on Amazon. I'm going to do is just come over to the blog post at quantlabs.net slash blog right here. If you're on the podcast, just put, look for this article. New Amazon listing for USB flash drive with videos on Algo, Trading, and Python bot. So that means we have this new thing here, your future retirement's part of that. And uh, get it while you can for the branded uh, USB keys. We'll be going to the generic uh, after this. So it's a very small amount. And that's pretty well it for the promo, promo, promo stuff. So let's dive right on in. Okay, so let's see the markets. Today's Friday, September 18th, 1235 p.m. So right now, what's been going on in the markets? Let's find out. So in here in the database, you can see here, there's been a lot of negative uh, movements. Um, Ethereum's been slightly positive. Litecoin's been slightly positive. Things are barely moving. You get the odd move of Ethereum Classic that moves. But nothing that my system will catch because it's all negative trending. So that puts our weight uh, average, weighted average at 0 0.06. Again, will not trigger a lot of uh, entries at all. But we do have this new, well, table. And this table is quite interesting. Okay, so let me just show you what it does. So we have this little guy running. It will factor in all the latest stuff from Binance, those coins. Uh, and we have a new capability to uh, run a new script, a couple of scripts I've added. Um, these really are not very useful for you because I only use them. But um, I have here the ability to um, basically run a technical analysis for both. Uh, if I wanted to go back to focusing back on Fibonacci levels, I can do that. I also have a real time. I don't think I've ever shown this publicly, but uh, I have this um, real time finance uh, chart. So let's say, or our script. So let's say if I wanted to run that one, the real time, this is what it does. So in my case, let's just check out uh, ETC and USDT. Let's see uh, if that will chart. So this is one of the only ones that are slowly moving uh, today. So it looks like it's going to move. So we're using minute data. We update it every, um, yeah, here, let me just see what we have. Uh, I haven't run it yet, but we'll leave it at that. Forget that for now. Sorry about that. So let's check out um, some of the uh, other. Um, here's our watch list. So we have quite a few of these. Now, if you've read in the description, uh, what this will factor in are the move ones that are moving positively, uh, the ones um, that have um, with this value here, that's over the last uh, hour, a few minutes. So we could see what's moving. I have a script here. So we have 18. So what I could do here is I think, yes. Okay. So let me go through these one by one. 
so let's do um, Adam USDT. Hopefully this will work. And then what it'll do is, it'll, like I said, it'll generate a, a Fibonacci chart as well as a uh, yeah here. So I think I have to put in number of days. So I am going to say, let's say 60 days. So we're going to include from September all the way back to mid-July for 60 days. So this will generate both the Fibonacci chart and the moving average and all that, uh, some other technical uh, info to see if uh, this will, I want to show the up moves that we had uh, two months ago, back as, as I said, this, this is specifically in DeFi and uh, also for some of the other coins that move with both Ethereum and Bitcoin in the last 60 days. So we see we have our charts here that has been generated. So if I go in here, So these ones just got generated today. So let me open those up. Let's see where I'm at. So I'm, I'm obviously on the commit uh, the command prompt here on my Mac. Uh, and then we are going to go through these one by one. And uh, so I want to show these charts here. These are really pretty, pretty important to see. Oh, okay, okay, so here we go. So what we're looking at here is you've probably seen these in my other reports, but these are on um, on uh, a little more granular. So when you look at these charts here, what we have here is we have the Fibonacci. So these Fibonacci levels are really good because obviously right in around here you want to potentially get an entry because you can see here uh, that leg up was good um, and that would be in around uh, August you know I guess between August 24th to the 25th everything's come back down and it's gone flat since then that's the general trend that we're finding so let's see what we also we have here the signals there's a whole mix, mix mash of them uh, these are really to be really taken seriously and the other thing is we want to watch is the, is the trend okay so the trend over the last 60 days has been slightly negative. It's flattening. Now that's obviously due to uh, the upper above being above trend, but it's just not strong enough to maintain that trend. So that's why um, in, my, in my strategy, <coughs> I'm very cognizant of uh, needing to uh, maintain that and only focus those on those coins that have a fairly strong positive um, trend. So we'll go through these. I don't know how many we have right now. I think we have 18. So we'll go through these one by one. And let's see if we have any other ones. So we have now 23. Very important to understand this to see what is going overall in the, in the space of uh, the crypto. So if I run this again, but this time I run it against Balancer, which is um, basically a recent uh, DeFi coin. A lot of DeFi coins have uh, not sustained themselves, and you'll see some examples of that in some of these coins. Um, so what we're looking for are any coins that have shown um, that, that don't move with trend, that goes against a trend but still has some a performance. And as I said, we also have to factor in the crazy volatility with uh, negative moving um, down, down uh, 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 drawdowns or, or uh, whipsaws. So we're going to look at this guy here and see what we have here for balancer. So we should have, there we go. So here's balancer. This is one of the recent uh, coins uh, for for DeFi. Okay, so DeFi hit in and around August. So if I was to show you, let's say, um, so we're going back to mid July. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind it even back more. Let me just do that. Um, 
So we've got here 90 days. So I'll, I'll go back 90 days. So if the coin has been just recently added to Binance, it will only go back to the day that coin has been added to to uh, Binance. A lot of coins have been added over the summer, so they won't have as much history as, as all, all the older coins will. So knowing that, let's just see if that is the case. So here's a new set of uh, coins here. So we could see, uh, looks like it only goes back to August 12th. So that, that tells me that this coin was added August 12th. So some of the coins that we'll see will have this flat line, then spike up and then comes back down and goes flat again. So it's these spikes that you obviously want to take advantage of. And over the last few days, this is all we've been seeing is either down or flat. That's why... Just recently, a lot of my coin, uh, bot has not been performing as I want to have, right? Because of that. And you can see that it still maintains a positive trend, but it just uh, there's no momentum in the market at all. So we need to know that. So let's look at another one that's been doing pretty good is Band. But again, you'll probably see the same trend. Band is another uh, sort of legacy but newer coin not sure if it's a uh if it's a uh DeFi coin i could probably look it up but I, i'm i'm right now i'm only really focused on trend or, or sorry price i don't care about the story of the coin i don't care about where it's at but where i do get concerned about is if it's not performing or not and specifically recently been performing so let's check out this one so we're going back 90 days. So let's see if this will go back farther. So these are going back to August for some reason. But you can see here, prior to August 9th, it, it had its performance. And again, it's the same trend, okay? So when you look at um, the Fibonacci levels, it's been beaten down. And a lot of other more legacy coins have been beaten down, like NEO, EOS, um, some other one, but you can see it's just been negative now very negative trend So uh, the next one we'll look at is is Bitcoin cash This one has been traditionally an okay one uh, Up until probably in the spring it did perform here and there, but it's just been not really going anywhere and um, I'll show you why so it looks like these will only go back to uh, one month for whatever reason. That's okay. So uh, let me just uh, do what I got to do here. And then look at uh, Bitcoin Cash is one of the bigger coins. And you'll see what's been going on been very flat I mean it's just been just nothing but down 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 and uh, yeah the trend's been down 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 not a very exciting coin to watch over the last while now the next coins an interesting coin because this is BNB this is the coin Binance coin that uh, Binance uses for all the commission fees so this I think long term this is one of those coins that will uh, perform uh, we just took a, a position today it was a quarter percent loss so uh, there might be some volatility still in the coin but we'll catch it if there is so BNB uh, is Binance coin so so let's check that out as well it's really important to occasionally do this from time to time that's why I'm doing this as an exercise because it's one thing to say I only watch the fast moving coins, but this will give you an idea of what's going on. You can see here that BNB has maintained its upper range in the Fibonacci levels. It has been strong, has come off, and it's stayed pretty good. And, you know, the RSI is still at 50 at zero. So this is going to be one of those coins that it would be pretty good to oscillate with and long term. You can see it has a, a, steady, um, a steady trend here. And positive so that's good so this is going to be I think over the long run this will be one of those coins that will prove itself 
So here's another coin uh, that I've talked about recently, Polkadot. Um, this just got added a while back. Uh, it's a DeFi coin. It's one of the top five largest coins now is Polkadot. So we'll let it run. And then this one for me has been a, a disappointment. Um, again, two, two days ago, three days ago, it has been uh, nothing but a um, negative positions again. So we'll be able to see this in and we'll see what's going on. So let's see here with polka dot. Okay, so this will, this will tell a story in itself with these coins. Uh, so here we go. So this one is like BNB is maintaining its recent level pricing. But what you'll see here, all this little volatility here, very difficult to trade. That's since September 7th. Um, you know, you get the mix mash. You might get some right up here uh, around the 13th, and then it just goes flat again on the 16th to the 19th. So today, let's see what the trend says. All right, so the trend's still strong, not as strong. I mean, just been kind of hovering around that trend line, so very difficult uh, coin to trade. Now, this other coin that we're about to do, IOST, has been a, a, like a huge disappointment just overall. Um, I, I don't trade this at all, uh, but we'll soon see. Now the ones that I get listed here are the ones that are above average, okay? These are um, stronger coins, re recent stronger coins. But lately what I'm showing here is that just in the last week or two weeks, they've been just going nowhere. And uh, I, I don't know what to tell you uh, from that. The only one I'm seeing that might prove itself is BNB, but that's even a pretty tough one to uh, trade. T PNG. Let's see here. Okay, so again, it's been mean reverting. So if you have a mean reverting strategy, this will work fine on this kind of coin. You can see here it's been going up a little bit from 50, or sorry, uh, roughly uh, 0 0.005 all the way up to 0 0.009. So there has been a nice steady increase. My system hasn't caught it. And that's because of, uh, well, actually, I'm surprised. that It's a flat trend, but my system will only um, track those that has a, a positive trend. So, again, though, it's still very flat, as you can see, namely um, in that uh, entry zone, but it hasn't moved up at all. So these, this is a very difficult one to trend. Recent performance has been decent. Let's do KNC, and then uh, that's this is a, a, a recent coin, I believe. This had pretty good performance actually, but it hasn't really again not gone anywhere. You can see here, Bitcoin is not part of this uh, lot. Um, the only coin that is big might be XMR, Z coin. I'll talk about those. But no Bitcoin or Ethereum. Ah, boy. Typos, typos. So we're doing now KNC. As you can see, everything's done in USDT. It's the most biggest and most stable coin out there. Um, I've talked about other stable coins against Tether. And we, we ban them. Um, I still put them in the reports just to show that the, the market is very tight. When those uh, coins show up, I'm talking about BUSD, USDC, um, PAX, and so on. Okay, so here's the report or charts for K, uh, KNC. See, KNC has done fairly well um, back in June, July, but it's been steadily flat starting to move off 
And that's a trend I'm seeing with a lot of these coins. Uh, they just don't have it in them. So let, let's check out uh, KSM. KSM. And then we'll move to uh, Lend. Lend has been a huge disappointment. My, my system's still trying to tell me that Lend is going to move. I, I, if I showed you the recent uh, moves lately, you would go, yeah, this system should ignore those. And uh, I'll show you that once we get there. All right, I think it's the next coin. So this is a KSM that we're loading up. It's a new coin. So this one's looking pretty good, actually. I was going to write this one off, um, but you can see it's had a nice run up since the 14th. So this is probably one of those coins to watch. But you can see here it's it's trend uh, or momentum's tailed off a little bit as well as. But if it starts to move up, this might be a nice coin to add. Um, good trend, good trend. So KSM's looking pretty good. Not sure if that's been recently added. So now we're going to look at uh, Lend. This is one of the larger DeFi coins in the lending space. This has been a huge disappointment. So when you hear about uh, DeFi, I think it was fine back in July, August, but it's definitely cooled off. And uh, what we're worried about now with Binance is all these staking projects. I would stay clear of them because anything that's going to get staked now, I don't think will move the price at all. Um, and you're going to get your money tied up in those kind of projects or investment vehicles. So uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't go after those deals at all. Um, and we do worry overall about the overall performance of Binance because of that. Because what will happen is, um, even though it's an exchange and doing that kind of activity, might get Binance uh, ch uh, banned in the, in, in the West, like Canada and Europe, because the banking, the banks won't like it. And, 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 and it, it, to me, it's a scam anyways. As you can see here, Lend has just kind of gone nowhere since the 17th there. The 14th, 15th, it's just been down. Very disappointing. Has a strong trend, but I think this will tail off and kind of go nowhere. And that's one of the larger uh, DeFi coins out there in the lending space. So then let's get into Chainlink. This has been... A long-term decent coin. Uh, there are other coins that have performed well, but Chainlink has done fairly well. No doubt on that. And uh, it's a stronger coin considering it's in the top five, I think, in terms of volume. So in terms of hodling, I don't know if this is a good coin to hodl right now, but we'll see after these reports. I have seen it lately. That's nothing to t write home about. Um, I think there might be BNBs is definitely a safer one from what I saw. So here you go. Uh, been very flat. Even the it's been a well above the finan uh, but they're just the price hasn't moved up a lot, and since August seventeenth, it's been nothing but in decline. So this is definitely one of those coins that is really not going anywhere when you can see that Chainlink has now got negative trend. That's probably the first time over a long time I've seen that. So another coin that I've seen that's doing pretty good lately in the last day was um, LRC. So let me just pull that up. Um, yeah, I'll pull up uh, LRC. Okay. I was pretty pretty surprised by this one. This one may be starting to move a bit. I will check that in a minute. It's been a very quiet coin. And uh, let's see here. Open port. LRC US PNG. Here comes the charts. Yeah, see, here you go. Just recently, it's been above the 382 uh, Fibonacci level. That's pretty good. I could see a steady trend there, upward trend. So this is one of those slow, but uh, coins that's moving up. 
So this is a good coin, uh, looks like, to hold. Uh, HODL, that's what your lingo says. So this one is not too bad. Next one uh, we are going to do is OMG. This has been somewhat, can be a surprise. I don't know lately how it's been performing. Um, there was ONG has done okay uh, back in the spring. Not so much right now. The next two coins I'm going to show you are um, more recent additions to, to DeFi. Uh, that's SNX, oh, sorry, SRP, or sorry, SRM and XSP. So let's see here. Uh, that was OMG I'm doing. Okay, here comes the charts for OMG. Yeah, see it's gone flat, um, gone flat into decline since August 24th or so. Yeah, this is going nowhere. Big, big sad day for all of you, but still maintaining that up uptrend, but nothing that great. Uh, so we're going to look at now SNX. Now, just so you know, uh, yeah, SNX. So I talked about uh, the status with with what's happening in terms of of uh, Binance adding all these staking projects. Well, if there is a ban, okay, if there is a ban, let's say, with uh, Binance somehow and it affects the overall volume or whatnot, uh, you can move over to Kraken. They just added four new coins, uh, DeFi coins. SNX is one of them. This this has been steadily pretty decent from what I've seen. Um, and they and crack and that's Kraken. And Kraken has also become a bank out of Wyoming. So uh, they are kind of like the same thing that what Binance is doing, but in the U.S. So you have that regulation going on. So that might be a good place to go. And it has a uh, decent volume as well. Uh, and it's number two in the derivatives market by volume uh, outside of, um, of uh, Kraken, uh, outside of uh, Binance. So that's a pretty, pretty good place to go if Binance goes to pot, especially here in Canada, Europe. You can, you can move over to Binance for now. I'm, and, and I'm not seeing and saying the same thing with uh Coinbase Pro because they're adding fee after fee after fee. It's just not a good operation to be part of. And it was SNX. You can see it's just been very flat. Um, yeah, it's in negative D trending. So I was wrong about that. And as I said, the problem with a, a, an exchange like Kraken, um, what they've done is they've added these new DeFi coins, but they're not performing. And overall, you're not seeing what I'm showing you here. Uh, these are the supposed ones that are supposed to be performing, but they're just recently they've gone really not done a whole lot. SRM. So SRM we're going to look at now. So NSNX has been a disappointment. Okay. LRC, the quiet one, BNB is looking okay. So SRM we are now looking at. And as I said, I'm constantly adding new coins to the bot as Binance adds them. I've ran it yesterday. I haven't seen the only thing I saw that was added is Uni, um, but I don't think Uni. What I saw about Uni was a um, negative trend, so that is not started out too good. So we just did um, SRM. So this is a new one. I'm not seeing. Let's see. Hopefully, we can see some good news here. I do believe this is another D, uh, DeFi coin. Yeah, same. This has been flat, going nowhere. You can see here the RSI is too high. No, no. It's got a steady trend. It, it, like it. You may get this to approach trend, but I wouldn't start even looking at the entry until it crosses that trend if it gets there. This has, I don't know, potential, but uh, let's do SXP. SXP, and then let's look at the um, overall. Uh, 
Okay, SXP. Okay. So we'll get the charts underway open. SXP PNG. So let's check out that. Now the next other coins, there's gonna be some hopefully some positive news after this, starting with yeah, this has been nothing but a disappointment. This is SXP, very negative uh, trend, not looking good at all. So the next series of coins I'm hoping, so we're looking at Theta, that XMR, XTC, maybe Y find Z coin. These, these coins should look good. So the first one I've always liked, I don't have a hate on for this one, which is um, Theta. That one's a good project. That one has performed. It can perform when it wants to perform. This is Save My Bot, the daily, uh, in the past daily trends uh, to, to get the daily goal of 1%. Theta has always come to the rescue there. So let's check out the charts and see why. So this is a decent coin. I will leave it at that. Okay, uh, Theta. So here's the problem. See, Theta has been doing really good. You could see there's a trend here. Nice, decent um, trend there. You can see it. But, um, yeah, it's, it's just a really good coin. Uh, this has been one of the better coins to be part of. Above uh, Fibonacci levels is good. So this is definitely a mover. A good coin to hold. No disappointment there. Next one uh, has done well uh, with VET or VChain. Um, this one has been a disappointment. And what I was going to say regarding all these dumb analysts out there saying this coin will move, that coin will move. No. you got to do what I'm doing here and just focus the ones that are moving in the last month. Because it's one thing where they will move for a week and, and just drop dead after a week or a couple of days of performance. So, you you know, regardless if you're reliant on that type of uh, way to watch the mar markets, you will lose money. But what I'm showing you here are some coins that are performing fairly well considering um, the malaise in the markets without the performance of Ethereum and Bitcoin to move everything. So WeChain has been just nowhere... nowhere at all. You can see here it may start to move, but we've seen that before. But if my system will catch it, it'll catch it. But um, I don't know. It, ha it has to have that strong uh, trend. And that's why my bot will only watch the ones with a strong trend. Because when you have those strong trend, like as I've shown you so far, Theta, BMB, and starting LRC, there's a higher probability those will be profitable uh, positions. Okay, so this one's been pretty good, surprisingly. Let me talk about these. This is XMR, Monero, and Zcash. These are private coins. Um, this is what the governments are scared of because as the markets move against you, uh, overall, gold, stock, everything, even Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum, these are decent little coins to hide out in is Monero and Zcoin, Zcash. And they are decent because what I'm finding is uh, they'll say for criminal or to hide money. Um, just for performance alone, it's a good coin. Let me show you. Uh, and if you have not heard, um, the the uh, IRS has put a bounty on this coin. $600,000 to to crack it. Same with Zcash as well, I believe. Um, because the IRS knows that this coin is, is very disruptive. Not Bitcoin. Monero, XMR, what I'm showing you right now. So let's check out that. This might be a decent coin to um, hodl in, as I said, despite what the tax authorities are telling you. So here comes the charts. Okay, so it has not, yeah, it's, it's been pretty flat, but starting here, this is the fifth, it's been a steady trend. Let's see the trend. Yeah, it's been slight decline, but this may turn around. Um, but it, it, it looked pretty good. So, But there are obviously other coins to be part of. Uh, XTC, 
There was a guy saying that this coin is going to start performing and da da. Let's see if he's right. XTZ. This is Tezos. So, and we got four more. So, we, we're going to do YFI, YF2. I just learned this YFII2 or YFII. That's the Chinese fork of YFI. And that one did well. Uh, a week ago, very well actually, um, but we'll check that out in a minute. First, we are going to look at Tezos. XTZ. Let's see if it's moving. They said it's going to start moving. No, flat as can be. There you go. De definitely not going to move. Um, it's got that negative trend. Um, it may move. It did get added to, to this list. But so far, as I said, there's just better coins out there. Okay, so let's start looking at the coin of the year so far, which has been mind-blowingly good. That's YFI. And then we'll look at the Chinese fork YFII, USDT. And then we got uh, two more. And then the last one will be Zcash. Uh, I shall do a refresh uh, and see if there's anything else we've missed. But you could see a lot of disappointment here for people. Uh, but th there are three coins that are doing A-OK. -okay. So let me see here. Open report TA. Um, YFI. Okay, here we go. So let's see the chart. So this coin's gone from 5,000, as you can see here, all the way up to over 40,000. So it comes in spurts, okay? And uh, you can see it, it had about a week ago on the 12th, 13th, that next um, push up to 40,000. And again, from 5,000 on August 17th. I mean, this has been, as I said, the coin of the year with these moves, uh, but it's been pulled down. But this is where we got to start watching things. The RSI and, and, and the momentum. Really what we're looking for. This is the strongest trend I've seen yet. Once we see, see this price start to move up past um, the, uh, so we're looking at around 30,000. So right now, or sorry, so we need to see it around 40,000. If it's going to move up past, you know, 40,000 plus for that entry to take place. That's how the pro the the bot is is uh, performed. So here um, it is legging up, just in pullback modes. So let's look at number two. YFII, and then we'll look at one last one, Zcash, and I'll do a refresh to see if there's anything else that's missed. Oh, I'm sorry. Y F I I. Okay, let's see what's going on here with Y F I I. I don't think that this is the Chinese version I was told on the webinar Monday night. So we'll see if this has kind of done anything. So we are looking for Y F I I. PNG and the charts are coming again big disappointment Let's see when this, so this got added September 3rd been nothing but decline boohoo and you probably see this with the more recent uh, um, DeFi coins as well except the one I shown you so we only have the three coins so far that has done fairly well so let's check out one last coin here Zcash Z cash. Okay. And I'll do a refresh as well on this. Let's see if there's anything else but that's been added. Let's see if the market's moved at all. Markets are starting to move a little more positive for the big five. Yep, so there's nothing new there. So this is the last coin we'll look at, the Zcash. 
ZEC USDT. Okay, this is it. This might be similar to XMR Monero. Yeah, it's just not moving as much. The decline um, is negative. Nothing stellar there. So, out of that analysis, the only coins we're seeing is Theta, um, BNB, and LRC so far. That's it. Um, hopefully, you got some use out of this video. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.